Now, welcome to episode two, where the CW squad has decided to take on the challenge of making a theme song. Of course, with a little video production in the mix. So without further ado, enjoy the video. Okay, so at some point in the process, the team was asked what challenges they were facing. Um, I would say a challenge that we're facing is trying to find music for the trailer that works and fits and that we can all agree on. Right now, the challenges I'm facing is overlapping audio with the visual part of editing because it needs to match up correctly unless it's going to look desynced as, as it can be. Some, cha some challenge that are facing is good Kamba. I uh, find a good background and the colors. Oh, and the design to find a good design for the banner. So the first challenge that we're taking right now is the one, um, the music production one. Uh, we decided to. We've decided that one to be the first one and hopefully it goes really well. Okay, so right now the challenge that we're doing is more so video production. I'm working on the, excuse me, on the editing trailer, editing on the trailer. Um, Otto, Mauro, I know are doing the episode one editing. Deja, I believe, is trying to work on the next challenge that we're about to be doing, which is the, I believe, the music production part. And then Libni was trying to work on the sort of banner for the creative works team here. So that's that's what we're doing generally. Very fun. Speaking of the editing of the trailer and episode one of this very series, they could be summed up as... Okay, so the, the, the work progress on the trailer is finished. I think it came out pretty good. Me personally, just, just pretty good. Pretty plain and simple. Once episode one was polished and ready to go, the focus was then centered on the music production challenge led by Deja Epps. Although everyone was excited, we did ask Deja about her opinion on possible challenges that she would face. Yes, um, trying to find like the right sound. Since this is only week two, I feel like everyone is still trying to still figure out the flow of how things work and trying to fill out the vibe of the group. So it's kind of hard to build a song that represents that when everything is so new. So the challenge is just really trying to make sure it fits. Um, everyone has pretty much been helpful. Morrow's been really helping, helping me trying to like build it and find elements that really incorporate the sound that we're going for. And then everybody else has been supportive in voicing their opinions. Um, their feedback and everything so that, you know, the sound or well, the song comes out great in the end, so yeah. Mid-production, the day of reckoning came. We all about to find out. All right, all y'all, all y'all get in the shot. Danny, you too. Can I leave the room? I want to get no. everybody's reaction. Yes. You hit. What do I got to hit for? It's on mine. Leave me alone. Forced her to uh, let us listen exactly. to it. So give her, let her escape. Let her escape. Before 100% completion of the theme song, the team decided to listen to it to give proper input on the almost finished product. After that, though, <laughs> uh, well, you can see for yourself. I still think like a child. I can easily Thanks. find you. Damn, he was hiding. Where was a child hiding? Wait, I'll serve you. <laughs> she was literally hiding right here behind the door. Everyone present had the same sentiments that the song wasn't where it needed to be. Blatantly stated by myself here and everyone else, as you will see. Like, I get the intention. It just needs to be cleaned up. That's yeah. it. That's all you need to do. The idea is good. It's solid. It just needs to be cleaned up. That's it. I felt like it was a mess in some parts. I did like it at the end and some beats that they had, but honestly, it just sounded like a mess. I want to say that Deja truly did try to make it as best as she could, but 
given the fact she was working alone with it, it was obviously that she needed help with it. I like the sound, but I, I think that the lyrics that she made uh, not contrast with the song I like. But she has to, we have, all of us uh, have to try to help her to do the lyrics to have a better song. Yes. Why were you trying to escape? Because like I was very big on not wanting anybody to listen to it until it was completely done. And so I don't want people to ridicule it. It's like I'd rather you ridicule it during the process than when I'm trying to get to the end and then it's like, oh now it's kinda like we don't like it or I have to scratch it. So that's my biggest thing, like, oh my gosh, like I didn't worked on it this hard. It's almost there but it's really not there. And then having it here, I didn't want to. So it's kind of like, and I will just like admit, like I was kind of like, okay, I really didn't want anybody to hear it because I was, the vocals was the main part. And I was like, I did do this last minute, but I'm trying to make it work. Um, but this time it's like, yes, like let's have everybody involved from the start. <laughs> Yeah. With those concerns in mind, we decided to go into overdrive. We pulled all the stops, no messing around. It was time to put our all into making the theme song even better. Of course, we had to have some fun, goofy moments in the mix. What do you want me to talk about? Or do you just want me to keep on talking? Because I keep on talking forever, forever, forever. Because like, I have nothing else to say. So I continue working on all this right here. And in general, I'm mean, working in here. And like, do you want me to spend farther first? I can hear you. No! Record it again. Don't put me to your left, Deja. What are you doing? <laughs> I said not to, to your left. We put our heads together and set up everything to finish the theme song in one day. We found ourselves making significant progress. Hmm? How do you think it came out? I think it came out well because of the freaking audio quality on the mic mm -hmm. and how it's going through the goddamn headset. It's actually yeah. pretty good. It sounded really nice. So she managed to do the lines. She wanted to do how many did you do? Three, four? Four more. Like how many how many times do you have to record the same line except like, you know, differently because you wanted to harmonize it? Oh god, dude. Yeah. I think it's several times. <laughs> At the very least we probably did like freaking twelve separate recordings. Give or take, considering that like we were messing up a couple of times. Well, sure. But we huh? don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. Yeah, you smoke. No, right. I didn't speak no smoke. I'm, I'm just speaking truth. That's it. Wow. Whatever happened, no, whatever oh, happened, yeah. happened. I, uh, whatever happened, happened. I mean, look, we just needed it to come out good, and, and that's all that matters. Okay? Wow. Was it hard to set up? Well, this whole thing took a while. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> this is our studio. Yeah. I want to say a good solid 30 minutes straight. We also had to clean these, so clean them so that our actress <laughs> was singing in. The time had come. It was now the moment to listen to the final song. Ready. Okay, go. What's that new challenge for the week? Too much fun, this challenge for the week. Grab my camera and the crew who could create a mind so never miss a beat, yeah. Ain't like a need job. Let creativity fly for me. It works with them squad. CW Media Squad. W-S-Q-A-D What's in store? Let's find out and see Hang out with the love in DDP It's a CW made a theme song in just one week. It was a challenge, but in the end we made something we were all happy with. We all enjoyed the process together, of course, and that's all that really mattered and that's all that was important in the end. That being said, thank you for joining us and we'll see you in the next challenge we face. 
Hope you have a great day and goodbye.